It is time now for the Pear Chell Morning News for this Monday morning, March 23rd, 2015. Good morning to you all this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Monday morning, March 23rd, 2015. Back to work, back to school. Here now, your news and nines. Your top story here at 734. Here on this Monday morning here is... Texas Senator Ted Cruz may be the first major candidate to announce a 2016 presidential campaign, but his path to the Republican nomination could be hampered by the very thing that helped him burst onto the national scene, the 2013 government shutdown. More than 35,000 people lined the streets of Leicester and Leicester Street yesterday to mark the final journey of the King Richard III. Lei Kuan Yu, who was efficient but often heavy, had the leadership tra help transform Singapore from a chaotic British coal, loading the backwater into one of the world's most prosperous and orderly states died March 23rd at the Singapore Hospital at the age of 91. European borders open lower as Greece swirls after gains in Asia and dollar claws up against Europe after pressure from cautious Fed. Former Galveston County District Court Judge Susan Chris presided over Robert Durst's murder trial in Texas in 2003, where he was acquitted in a 2001 killing in the neighbor Morris Black, whose body parts were found wrapped in garbage bags and dumped. Fantasy Shake Will. Insurgent has debuted at the top of the U.S. box office and earned about $54 million in it. Over the weekend, star Jaylee Woody, Dear Jameson, took slightly less than the first installment, Diversion, which opened last year to $54.6 million. The year slipped in the early trade on Monday as the previous week's rebound showed signs of running out of steam as a single currency was 0.5% lower against it all at 1.0770, with investors dying Greek Prime Minister Alexis dispersed visit to Berlin. Russia accused Kiev of Monday of violating parts of the Minsk peace deal for the East Ukraine and urged Germany and France to which help negotiate to do more to ensure Kiev sticks to the agreement that was reached. When Democrats passed the Affordable Care Act in 2003, it was a proper poll after poll showed priorities without majorities opposed to the legislation after they were imprisoned, national fact that led to its passage. A well stored article alleged a gang rape occurred at a Phi Kappa. Besides, French House at the University of Virginia, the magazine has censured a student apology, but the article said that the reporter's trust that her cert horse was misplaced. Hiker killed after cliff collapses along the Northern California Trail at the Point Reyes National Seashore, north of San Francisco. Patrick Murphy announced a bid for Marco Rubio. Ben Gurion report that bodies of seven ultra Orthodox Jewish siblings who died in a fire in the Brooklyn home have arrived in Israel for burial. James Bullitt, President of St. Louis Federal Reserve Bank, says markets are facing more volatility. Hong Kong Chinese stocks finished higher on Monday with Shanghai shares extending a nine session winning streak, finding support for bullish comments from China's top securities regulator. All right, let's take a look at what is going on in the stock market here on this Monday morning here. Now, 18, 127.65, up 168.62. SP 5, 2108.10, up 18.83. And that's it, 26.42, up 34.04. In a scientific breakthrough, that would have the of George Washington Carver himself, scientists may have come up with the most ingenious use of peanut yet as science turned pack of peanuts to the buttery components. Vin Diesel took down Wall. Honoring in this call starred Fred Lake Paul Walker and was greeted at a fair seven as a 47 year old American actor who was talking about Lake Fest, the fierce star, when he got emotional and couldn't speak. Spring is set to arrive on Friday, but it's notable for the season flowers and short hours. Get short every year about 30 seconds to a minute, and it happens through the astronomical quirks. President Obama spends Monday at Byron's student science projects that encourage him for investments in the United States. As in the morning, Obama hosts the annual White House Science Fair, which features prize winning projects in science and technology. An Ebola outbreak in West Africa will be over by August, and the head of the UN Ebola mission told the BBC that he has mailed old check 
I believe that you had made a mistake to the end of the crisis earlier that sometimes acted arrogantly. That's much longer than the warden's on traditional cigarette packs in the United States. As nicotine, the e-cigarette warden says, is an addictive to the habit form that is very toxic by inhalation and contact with skin or if swallowed. Take a look at sports news here. Atlanta Hawks guard Kyle Corbett has returned to the lineup against the Senator Spurs with protective gear on his face to cover a broken nose. Wichita State rolls over KU2 events to Sweet 16, WSU 78, Kansas University 65. And X St. Louis man, man the character is a little different from most of the one of five footballs that attended the first NFL Veterans Combine as he wants one more chance in the National Football League here. Last night, not such great news on the local front. Boston Bruins dropped to the Tampa Bay Lightning, 5-3 down to Tampa Bay, while the Boston Celtics fall in overtime to Detroit Pistons, 105-97. Today, the Boston Celtics tonight will be down in Brooklyn, taking out of Brooklyn Nets, down at Barclays Center, game time, 7.30 p.m. Peter Chell News Time is now 7.40. Turn out for a travel report that this Monday morning. Back to work, back to school. 95 and a not fine time. A little slow around Route 1 in church and 95. A little slow before 120 in in Canton. 24 and a not fine time. A little slow before you put 120 on the not fine side of Canton. 128 stop by the slow from Braintree down to the Braintree split. Route 3 and a not fine side after Route 18 in. Wait, 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 little soul. 120 on the north bound side is back up from 95 and Captain all the way up to before Route 9 in Wellesley here. Mass back in the east bound side is back up from Route 9 and Ferry all the way up to Route 16 the west side and then you hit the brakes again from the Austin Brown Tolls. And then a little salt on the west bound, the west bound side down through the Ted Williams Tunnel. Stephanie's Expressway at the north bound side is back up from the split. All the way before the Mass Avenue exit here. 128 on the southbound side. A little soul from Wakefield all the way out to before Waltham here. And 93 of the Sapa Tide is back up from Stoddard all the way down from the Zaken Bridge. And 93 of the Sapa Tide, a little soft from Stoddard Drive down from the Government Center. Route 3 of the Sapa Tide is back up from 495 and Chelsea down from Bill Wicker. 93 95, off from 128 to the New Hampshire border here. And up in the Granite State, 393 95, 101 and more on 5. And the Grand State Spalding Turnpike, a little slow around Route 4 during the Bars. You're looking good at the Granite State here, and 95 up in Maine, the local fine from, from, from York up in the Portland there, and 495, but a stop on side is slow for 97 in April, all the way up to the Merrimack River, and then you hit the brakes again, uh, whoop, exit 44 in Lawrence, and then 185 stop, hit the brakes again from 140 to the over down for the route 93. Route 3 to stop on side, also from 130 to the Death Bowl down for route 40 in Chelmsford here. Route 2 to the East side is backed up from Auburn all the way to down for that side of Worcester. 146 northbound, a little slow before Route 2 at the end. Worcester so expected delays. 485 on the northbound side. In fact, up from Hockton before Route 485 in Westboro. 195 on the eastbound side. A little slow around. Murray on the right. Route 105 here. In run out there. 146 on the southbound side. A little slow before Route 15 in North Providence. All the way up to downtown Providence. 95 on the southbound side, so for the protected ass scrims and hit the brakes again on the protected Providence board and down from that time Providence. And 95 on the northbound side, so from 37 and walk all the way up to Route 10 in Creston. Route 6 on the eastbound side is backed up from Route 128 and Johnson all the way down to the 6 tank connector. 6 tank connector, so from Route 6 down to the 6 tank connector eastbound side and the 6 tank connector. And we got an exit on 95 southbound before 195 that time Providence, so expect some delays here. 195 westbound side, so from Seacock down from that time Providence here. 95 on the southbound side, slow from 160 to Covenant Street before Route 2, Route 4, D Square. So expect some delays here. And down in Connecticut. Truck roll over here on 95, an old line Connecticut here. 
So if you're in that area of Old Lyme, Connecticut, expect a lot of delays here. And Newport Bridge to the eastbound side. Slow from James side after the death of Newport here. Board Bridge, southbound side. A little slow, but the board side. Board Bridge, blow out five. 28, blow out five for Board of Falmouth. And Route 6, blow out from Sagamore. All the way out to Orleans here. And take a look at the MBTA on this. And on the team, there'll be 63 commuter rail train trips reinstated. Started today. On the subway, on the MBTA, is mobile on fine. And the Framingham Worcester Line Train 504 545 AM from Worcester Union Station late 5 to 10 minutes due to an earlier switch failure here. And on the ferries, the Mulan Fine. Peter Channel News Time 745. And it's time now for a weather report here on this Monday morning. Back to work, back to school. For today, we're going to have some sunny skies with a high of about 30 degrees. Northwest with about 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts of high 24 miles per hour. But today, most of the gusts are about 50 degrees. Northwest with about 3 to 6 miles per hour. From Tuesday, most of the gusts are about 36 degrees. Light north wind. Tuesday, most of the gusts are about 21 degrees. Calm wind. For Wednesday, the sun skies are about 47 degrees. Calm wind became a step and finally 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. With that, a chance may be able after 3 a.m. Most of the gusts are about 37 degrees. Chance of space is 30 cents. Thursday, rain that may after 2 p.m. with some class skies have about 59, low about 40 degrees, chance of temperature to 6 percent, up it to 70 percent by Thursday. Friday, mostly cloudy skies have about 51, low about 30 degrees. Saturday, part Saturday, part class skies about 42, low about 27 degrees, and for Sunday, both sides skies have about 45 degrees. Not temperature started at a chilly 17 degrees with fair skies and a wind chill 7 above. That's me for the period chill modern news of this. Monday morning, March 23rd, 2015. Peewee's, you have a good day. I will see you for a 5 o'clock report. Have a good morning.